Monster Family 2. Okay, I'm just gonna say this right now. I have seen the first Monster Family, and it was, and it was terrible. Like, the story was objectively a ripoff of the Anne Family mixed with Mo Hotel Transylvania. The animation is kind of mediocre, but it still doesn't quite fit in well, and the characters are just pointless. And then there comes the, the dumbest creation is by making a sequel to a monster family. Well, I can't expect too much out of Sky because oh, why not would they make a sequel out of the worst films? So, with that said, how bad can Monster Family 2 be? Let's just get this over with. The story. I'm just gonna start off saying that the biggest problem with the story is that oh, it's super generic and basic. And here is what. So it starts with two characters that I forgot the name of that game nearly, but then a, a villain comes in and steals them, and then they oh, the flipping main characters have to save them, and the other creatures that they barely even know, all because it is an environmental message of an anime film. But I gotta say, this, in, this environmental message has been overused, and not that quite useful anymore. Even with the parts with the Loch Ness Monster and the Yeti and the Gorilla, whenever the main characters connect with them, it's just pointless and just fitter. And yes, even for the humor, like, it can have some, some, like, humorous moments, but they're honestly quite rare and not even funny. So, yeah, I don't know if Sky would ever find this to be the, make their own story, but no, you just have to copy it, cause that's Sky for ya, kitties. The animation. So I did say that the that the first Monster Family's animation was decent. So you think that the second one would be just like that, right? I mean, it technically does, but not exactly in a good way. The big problem with the animation is that it's the same thing we always seen before. We have seen the Arctic, we have seen the jungle, we have seen space, we have seen it all. Even for the character designs, do stay through the first film. But then you have other designs like the monsters or creatures, and they look kind of strange. That doesn't even look like they belong in the that they look like they belong in the cartoon for some reason. And the character animation is quite similar to the first film, where it's quite slow at times. I mean, yes, there are some good parts about it, like the effects are okay, but they didn't do enough to make the animation the same thing good goodness in the first film, which makes this animation as pointless as the story is. So speaking of the next pointless point, or part, the characters. So a typical story in the animation as villain can also include some generic characters, right? Well, what else did you expect from a sky film like this? The big issue with the characters is just that they're not even quite focused on and even mostly used as bland or dull or even uninterested or even not unlikable or not likable. Don't judge me. The big issue with the characters is just that they're not even quite focused on and even mostly used as bland or dull or even uninterested or even not unlikable or not likable. Don't judge me. We got Emma, who is your typical mother like in other anime films. Frank is the dumb Frankenstein that luckily doesn't say oop anymore because that guy rock was atrocious to listen to. Ray is the obnoxious bratty girl or diva. And Max is your typical nerd that, all, that sounds like he passed puberty mo months ago. And the bats are just there just to bring out laughs, like they're trying to be like minions ripoffs just like from the first film. Even though they make them way more pointless since people are overdoing it. Like I shared with the environment- Okay, I'm just gonna stop with that accent. And surprisingly, Drekker does show up in the film, but his role is just pointless since he only shows up from the beginning and the end. As for the new characters, you got Mila, who is- who is the one who captures the monsters because of the parents parents cause they think they want to bring up peace but about them twists they don't seem like good twists in the film. And now I think about Mira it's just Twitter 
treated as Max's love interest. Like, cause I guess the films can't get enough of that, right? And then even the monsters do appear in the film, but they're also just pointless, just used as comic relief, cause why not? The film does have some characters, I mean the first film does have characters that don't feel like I saw in an open room, but in the sequel, they pretty much have that title. Monster Family 2 is your is a generic and hopeless is animated sequel with a doll story, a message that is way too overused, animation that can be okay but it doesn't add anything new, and characters that you rather forget or you really do want to hate. And my recommendation goes to those Monster Family fans, if there's any. But even like children won't even look at this and think it'll be good. If you made your kids watch this, then they all would be considered bad parenting. And that is easy enough to take this trash out with the Kyle's sale of garbage. <laughs>